Hi again, I want to apologize for the interruption before I accidentally hit that, uh, that 9 button, which means rendering in max, but also stopping recording if it comes to do, so I'm sorry. Uh, so what I wanted to show before I hit it, uh, stop, I wanted to show you how to do a DIP render, which is, I don't know, very important. But work in progress. So, for this we just need skylight there. Actually, it doesn't matter where, but somewhere. We need that the bottom plane will be more or less white, out to 150, and the objects will have something like 220. Now, when you go to rendering, mental array this we put to 4 and 16 to have a little better quality and we enable final data put it on 250 and hit render now this uh, VIP render you can also do mm, default render but it takes uh, longer and the result is not so fine like this I liked it more because this I'm uh, using only mental ray for this, but when someone will need uh, want to show how to do it also in default, just ask on the forms. So you can see in this you can show how the model is looking before you do the render. And you can see my scene will be from these two rings. This, which was the most complicated. This one, which have some external in shape with the diamonds, you know, four. And this, which will be from two materials, and I think when you can do this, you can do any, really. It just takes more time and some patience, but I'm sure you can do it. So just trust yourself. Okay, well let's do the scene. I decided that I will move this one somewhere like here. I will do this perspective. Because I want to move it in the middle and zoom on it. So now it looks like this ring, which I will rotate a little in another view. So this we will put on flat. Yep. Put it a little bit down by me. This is just like how my scene would be looking. You can be looking absolutely different. It's just me. Okay, something like this. So it looks like this ring, even when it's not, it's on this. So this is on this. Okay. Now, this, this, and this. Okay, so let's do the materials. Okay. Create our design. Check this to see this one. Now we will call this diamond. Yup. <sighs> now uh, it have to be full, fully transparent. It have to be fully reflective, and the IRR should be around two forty two. This number I I have some from somewhere. I think Max tells that this uh, index of refraction, not reflection, but refraction, I don't know how to pronounce it, right? Should be for diamond. So this is all for just the diamond, but you can do like a loop, a loop, more things like we can change this, I don't know, something like one, this can, this we can leave, and this, okay, no. Plus, mm, okay, I did the metal from this. Okay, by IR, we'll leave it like this, I think. Not, I don't know. Okay, we'll try both. It's the best. Uh, this I will leave here. I will create another. Call it Diamond 2. Plus, Diamond 2. Okay, full reflective, full transparent. 
and two for two. This I will leave default here, and this I will apply here. With this, I want to tell to achieve a good material. We have to try, we have to try, we have to try. Diamond is very specific. There's a lot of refraction, diffraction on the, on the light, and so and it's hard to do. So you can probably pause the night to find some good reference, good tutorial on this. Just try. Okay, this we will call silver. And check this with metal. We don't want any diffuse because really this is like white or something like this. Uh, this will put to one transparency. We will leave like this. I uh, why not? But we will change this. We will change this. This and this to three, maybe. You can see this is our silver. Very simple. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's put this a little bit lower. And more samples. More samples, more quality. Copy this. We call this gold. The only difference by this material is because we will use diffuse and change this to gold material, which maybe it's something like this. Copy. Okay. Now, again, if you want really a nice material, you have to try. You have to try a lot. So, just try. Okay. This I want to be gold. This I want to be silver. We see the difference. This is black, this is yellow. And this I want to be two colors. So I will turn this off. Check edge. Now, now I need to go to some view to saw ah, this one. In front, I will select this edge and this edge. It's the two edges which are inside bring them, control, hold down control and body, you see, these lines inside are selected, grow, grow, two times grow, okay, sorry, my bad, first control A, and this material will be ID by one, now edge, control, poly, grow, grow, and this will be our second ID, Okay, you can turn this on again. Create uh, multi sub object material. Discard. Put this just for two. And first will be gold, second will be silver. Or how you want. Apply. And you can see this is gold, inside is silver. Great. You see, materials are very, very easy here. It's good. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, now, uh, now we have this, and the main thing here is like, uh, it is, it is an art. Do I have a nice scene? Okay, this is not so bad. So I'll keep this like this, but. If it will be reflecting the gold, the silver, or the diamond too, will be reflecting the environment. This is, uh, let's say, just white. So I need to change this to something different. So I will use just a standard material and apply diffuse bitmap. And somewhere here, scenes, ring, maps, I have a grid which I create. Yep, this one. Turn this on to see. And apply. Okay. Apply here. Now I will change the telling. Ten ten. Make more. Maybe twelve twelve. Ah. Yeah, something like this. Now you'll be reflecting this, which will be 
at least better and better than just a white one. So I suggest you to do something on which you will be rendering it. Uh, maybe a table or so. It can't be just white. Now, this is the bottom, this is the middle, this is the top. The top is reflecting again the environment, which is black. Okay, let's do the HDR map. All formats, and I have this one here. Okay, you can always play with the settings a little if you want. Instance, at black, and check this too closely. Or maybe do it a little bit brighter. Mm, but it this one, yeah, like this. <coughs> now it's reflecting everything, and we will do also this one uh, and leave it default. No, hmm. Eclipse Sky, okay, we'll do this. Trust me, it's a nice effect which you like. Uh, in the daylight, in all the daylight, but you can also check on the preview, which I don't think will be nice now, actually, but we can try, okay, it's black, <laughs> why, I have no idea, okay, now we need the lights, so we'll keep this actually here. But we will put 0 3 and I will put it here. Just don't be. This is one light. It's something like Omni, but better. And we need a spotlight. Uh, let's say like a camera. With pointing. Let's say that this one will put somewhere in the middle of the rings. Where are they? Yep, here. Now we see it's very dark everywhere. Don't give attention to this. It's really bad art. Now, uh, let's say it will be not absolutely white. It will be a little bit, a little bit blue, and the intensity should be higher. So let's say like this. Yeah, it's better. And also the shadows now are like too sharp. Change the little samples to 10 and these to 13. But it's my scale, so you can you have to try your uh, first in the render we need to change this you can keep on this. Fine we get two. But I want to enable global illumination and also caustic. This caustic will Reflect from this and cause some light here at the bottom. It's nicer. This multiplier you have to set uh, to the object which are ca casting the caustic. So my objects are not so big, so I will put it like 0 2. It should be enough. And also here, when this is enabled, you can control the samples. Let's put them all to 25,000. This all will do more and more time. So first of all we will disable this tool and do a render like this. But it will not take a lot of time, just we will see. Okay, it's a nice nice where are we the hell it's black. Okay. Oh. Okay, I don't know why. Hmm. Sure, it's because of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Oh, let's say this active. You know, this is actually a nice effect. Like so, it starts walking. Okay, I mean, it's doing something, but it's not working by me. It should work. I was trying this before and it's working. No, it's not working. Mm, I don't know if it's. Let's 
Let's see if this will do. Like this. Just do it. Lighter. Okay, it's not working. Pooh. Pity. Hmm. Okay, I think we will turn this off. Okay, let's say we'll try this one. Maybe it's not working. I will not use it. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's not working how I want. It's a bit because it's nice effect. Really? Hmm. Okay, I will not think. Okay, I will turn this off. This is like I I don't understand really. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. We will not use it. Off. Okay. I'm back to perspective. Just I will do again or something. Let's see. Okay. <coughs> do we want to check how it looks? Just to finally get a great. <laughs> left frame. I don't want the left. Okay. This one, I don't know. I think it's just something by me, so I'm sure by you it's working. Mm. I oh, wait, no, okay, let's try it now. Maybe, yeah, okay, it's working. Whew. Okay. So let's do just a quick render, just to see. No, it's do not completely render. Maybe just uh, let's say the final getter. It's enough because the render will take us time. I don't want. It don't look so bad. It looks fine. I like it so far. And you see that now it's reflecting decent. It's really nice. Trust me. Okay, the scene looked like half empty. Uh, so we will do. I will do something like this. How will we be looking if it's on you? Really? Now. Okay, now the caustic. So, check the diamonds here uh, properties and mental ray to generate caustic. And the same here and here properties. Now, these objects will generate the caustic, but we need lights which will be generating the caustic. So, create an omni here. Uh, let's say I will call it like this, and drop down the intensity to 0, 1, and click on this. It will not affect diffuse, like the colors and the objects. Just specular, which will be the diamonds, and which will turn on uh, generate caustic. So now we are going to play some omnis. I will place few, let's say inside. Ah, I forgot something. I will change it later. Now. Uh, check our omnic all right click on one properties generate casting now uh, move
remove them, copy them out from the diamond, copy them again, raise it up, lower it down, so it can do a lot of diffusion there, just like a little mouse out one, and something similar we'll do here at the back, just to copy, hold down shift and move. Okay, all of these are just peculiar only. Now, something similar here, how I told. So, one, let's say here, one here, so I fold. Okay, so it one, put it out, so this one. Out so I fold down just I'm doing it randomly a little more or less by trying. And so so all these small omnis will generate caustic to this which should be some uh, do something like a diffraction for us, which should be looking very nice. Now back to the renderer. Hopla. Ah, sorry, but really, this is looking good. It's not working. I have no idea why. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's replace the lighting. Okay, good. One more time, just for sure. This is not working. I'm sure it will not. It's not working. So I will try again something other. This won't working for this. Okay, not working. So go to renderer, enable caustic. Be sure the multiply will be not so big. Go volumization default, and this will be twenty five thousand. This we can put on eight. The last time <laughs> I'm asking you, please work. If not, hmm. Hmm. okay, no, we will wait. The photon emission, you see, I choose 25,000, which uh, it's almost the triple than the default. So it's now counting everything, and it takes time. You have to be patient by this should render around 15 minutes, which is a lot. Hmm. And so on. So, I will show you my picture in the time. So, my picture. Uh, the quality is not so good because I have some problems with my. LCD or with the colors in Vistine, it's doing much more brighter than it is. So you can see this was my scene, the materials, diamonds. As you can see, uh, I did also a little pass production. You can do it in, on Gimbal if you have Photoshop. And did uh, some color adjustment, some changing of the brightness and so on so on so on. you have to play with it a little but uh, at the end it should be looking something like this you just have to play with it really just do what you want okay 60 percent it should be good to go why I did this it's pity that here is no like cancel button so I guess I think I will cancel it if I will had the opportunity now I can stop. Okay. Because I, uh, I have no idea if this will be working or not. Uh, okay. No. Nothing. Okay. So, uh, first of all, you have to do your materials. Then you have to think what they will be reflecting. So, you, uh, you need something on which they will be staying and after the environment on which they will be reflecting 
then you have to think how many lives you will use. You see, I'm trying always to use just two lives. One like uh, the main light, and the second like general light, like default light like, uh, around and so, which have uh, always like a smaller value than the main light, five times, five times less maybe. Then the render setting, you have to do it uh, on what are you rendering. If it's uh, wood, wood, you don't need global illumination. Even if someone's saying, okay, maybe yes, maybe no. So it's on you if you use this, but you have to count that everything which you increased will increase the render time. So on this, careful. If you have some objects we are casting caustic, you have to do it. And this will increase the render time too. So every time when you're rendering something, okay, it's not working. Okay, on this I think every time when you're rendering something, you have to think before and you have to try I will put this lower and you have to do a lot of test ranges trust me and so on so on so on so I think you can do this better than me so I would like to see on forums how you did this if you have any problems and what do you think I should do in the next tutorial, I mean some uh, clues or like how to do this better to help me and I will be happy to hear something like this from you and I hope I will see some your objects in the forums like you did because of my help some other ink more complicated would be very nice and share with all the users and I hope to see you by some other tutorial and I also hope you learned something and it, for, it was useful for you. So I hope to see you next time and bye bye. Happy rendering.